we have received questions of how to prepare for a primary program. Don't you think that primary programs are like some of the very oh, best, the best. They are meetings that they're you go favorite. to? They are. <laughs> when you see the children bear testimony and sing with their hearts, it just melts you. But also you get to see how personally the primary song leaders have chosen the songs as they've prayed about it, because you know you have options, but to see how the primary song leaders have put their heart and soul into this, it means everything when it comes uh, across at, at the primary program. The parents are there, grandparents, they're crying. I, I mean, it's just a tender it's time. A, it's powerful, it and, really and yeah, and uh, from all the primary programs I've been through, they're, they're all so different. They are. And, but so spirit filled. Mm -hmm. And it's because, yeah, like you said, God is guiding each song leader to know yeah. what their primary needs. And so that is, that is our hope as we convey some of these ideas and hopefully try to answer this question today is that you still feel guided through the spirit for what your primary is going to need. That's right. Um, so at the beginning of the year, I think it's episode eight, we um, introduced a Come Follow Me primary program outline. And it had suggestions for the songs for each month that you could teach. And those come from the Come, the Come Follow Me primary program or from, um, it's the outline. That's right. That's the for individuals outline. and families. And then there's a primary one too. So that's where the songs come from. And um, let me just read to you and kind of give you an idea of what this primary program outline entails. So for June, um, we study the prophets Samuel and David. So I have that here, that in June we study Samuel and David. And then what do we learn from those amazing men? That God hears each of our prayers. That even as children, God could use them. And he listened to their prayers and answered their prayers. And then there are song suggestions. I will be valiant, a child's prayer. I'm trying to be like Jesus. And so in the... Um, in the program outline, a child would read, Hannah was a woman who prayed to have a son. She promised she'd give her son to God. She had Samuel, who became a great prophet. David was a child when he went to God for, for the strength he needed to defeat Goliath. Through these stories, we know God listens and answers our prayers no matter how old we are. And then the primary children can sing one of those songs that you've chosen. And then it gives a suggestion for the Valiant Nine class to then come up and say, a time when I knew that God heard my prayer was dot, dot, dot. And then you can allow those kids to fill in their own personal experiences. And so many times these children have um, given those actual thoughts in their talks in primary. Yeah. So it's perfect or for them to insert taught them the song and you've had yes. discussions about the doctrine that the song is teaching. Yes. And I hope that I will go home and write those down and remember them. I don't, but hopefully um, those can be reminded to the kids. If, do you remember when you shared this yes. in primary? We'd love for you to share that at the program. And sometimes I've been in primaries where the primary presidency will say, can I please have a copy of that talk? Oh, so they neat. know when that child has actually spoken on that and then they can insert it like in the program. Like this was a personal experience this yes. child had, and it's so powerful when it comes from them. So that is what this primary program outline entails. Um, it gives song suggestions, a profit for each month that we've learned about, and then just kind of cues to have the kids read and then come up with their, their own personal experiences and testimonies that they can read at the program. And this is a free resource we're giving, correct? Yes, the link will be at the bottom. So make sure to click on that and, and use it and edit it to work for your primary this year. That is awesome. Yeah, we also have seen so many different ideas. You can go online and find so many ideas for how to review the songs for your primary program because the kids need to have something kind of fun and exciting as they're singing these songs they over do. and over again. They do. They've been working each month and to be able to review and have it be fun makes all the difference yes, in does. their excitement and wanting to do well. Yes, and so there are a few ideas that we've done and so many that we've seen, and we just wanna share a few of these with you today. So here are the different ideas. The Song Hospital, and that one's been super fun to do. Yes. Um, Fishers of Men Around the World, a Primary Cookie Choir, Bugs in a Jar, 
primary idol, and what shape is our song in? So each of these ideas kind of help to review for the primary program. Do you want to talk about the yes, Song Hospital? Yes, you bet. So the Song Hospital idea is such a fun way to fix a broken or a wounded or a sick song. <laughs> you just kind of emphasize the illness of the song and how you just want the kids to be able to enunciate better so you can understand the words as well as can you hear them, and what's the Are last you singing one? singing with your heart. Yeah, singing with your heart, good. So what, what I did is I actually um, invited our daughter who had just gotten married, she and her husband, it was Dr. Hooper and Nurse Hooper, and I had doctor jackets and nurse, a nurse outfit and, and had their little name you know, printed on. It, you just can go as big or little as you want, but uh, we had a tongue depressor for the, the words, the words mm -hmm. enunciating, yeah, and then the autoscope uh, was for yeah, "Can I Hear You." That's so there was right. A cute little autoscope yeah, tool. Yeah. And Nurse Hooper actually had her little um, her clipboard with clip like board. a checklist. <laughs> yes, yeah. it was just the must. cutest thing. But the doctor would walk around, and he would, you know, put the put it, the autoscope in his ear, and you know, hear he him? would sing louder. He would make, yeah. you know, he would make comments. Now. You know, he didn't put the tongue depressor in their mouth, but he would, you know, kind of indicate to them. But you're just going to want to make it as fun for the kids as possible where you get them to do those things. And then the nurse would check off if that song was passable. Or if not, then, oh, we needed to work on singing loud, a little bit louder, mm -hmm. you know? So it mm -hmm. just was absolutely, the kids loved it. Give them a little it. medicine. Give yes. them a little medicine to sing the, a little louder. Yes. <laughs> and I song. think even one time I gave them little M&Ms in a, a little pill jar or mm -hmm. something. I don't even remember. But it was, the, it was so fun. The kids just absolutely loved it and actually wanted them to do it week after week because mm -hmm. it was just so engaging. Yeah, that's one that, I mean, you can take eight weeks to do it or yeah. seven weeks to do it. I usually do start my primary program reviews end of August, September, yeah. depending on when our program is. So yes, we can have sure. those many weeks yep. to, to review all those songs and have fun with them. And I think that's exactly. a huge part of it. Yeah. Um, the Fishers of Men idea um, was... I had like this little boat and I had a fisherman hat and the kids went fishing for fish and each of the fish had songs on it. And it, earlier that year we had talked about how the Savior said, come follow me, be fishers of men. And so it had meant something to them that yes. we were talking about fishing again and it was scriptural based. And um, they'd catch a fish and they got to hook it or put it in their fish net if we pass that song off. Cute. And so that was... That was a fun way to review the primary songs too. That's and I think we had like goldfishies and Swedish fish and <laughs> stuff like that at the We're end. We're all so. about treats. You the know. treats. The <laughs> treats are fun. And then an, and then another idea that this one I really loved because it brought people from our ward into the primary to listen to the songs. Um, it was the around the world idea. And I had flags of these different places around the world. And I had contacted people in our ward that had served missions in these places or had lived there. And I invited them to come into primary. I asked them to share a little bit about their experience living in a different country. And we sang the hello song. And so I asked them to share with us how people say hello in that country. And so we'd just sing the hello song and in that language, hola, 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 hola. And after we did that, and they shared a little bit about their experiences living there or serving a mission in this place, um, we would sing our primary program song to them, one that was on the flag. For instance, on the back of the Norway flag, I'd have written, I'm a child of God on the back, and we'd then sing that primary program song to the visitor that had come to primary talking about Norway that day. And it actually just ended up being such a sweet experience for that person to be able to hear the primary children singing their song. They wanted to do it so good for this yes. new person that yes. had come into primary, hadn't yes. heard them sing this song before. And um, that was that was one of my favorite ways that That's I adorable. reviewed primary program songs. And that, it, that really is adorable. It was awesome. Another idea that I have done that the kids just love, especially because as you're working on the primary songs, they, they've been outside because it's summertime typically for those children, you know, where it's summer, but they've been around bugs. And so what I will do is I will put 
bugs in a jar because we're going to get the bugs out of the song. And so Cute. you can either, you can either, oh, that's a cute one to have. You can either put them on the chalkboard or whatever you have in your primary. Let's say we've got, here we go. You can either put them on the chalkboard because we want to get the bugs out. And on the back of the songs, on the back, I have one of this. Uh, on the back of the bugs, I have one of the songs written that we want to work on. So the kids will come up, they will choose their their particular bug, and um, and then I will say, okay, so it's inchworm enunciation. So as we sing the song that's on the back, we are working strictly on enunciate enunciating Same that those words so exactly yes. exactly another That's really cute, cute thing uh, my mother was always so good about this is what she would say sing no louder than lovely and sometimes when you ask the children sing louder they will start to scream. scream it, yeah. <laughs> and that's not the objective. But you can sing louder and still sound lovely. So I chose sing no louder than lovely ladybug. And so when you do that, the kids all know, okay, we're still gonna sing lovely, but we're gonna sing louder. Or another one, you know, is the bumblebee. Be better be. Be better be, <laughs> that's right. Now here's the fun thing. If like one of the primary presidency members, or you could have a guest come in. If they think that it is good enough, you could have them actually swat that bug <laughs> and take it down, and they're done with that particular song, and they've nailed it. Yep. So the kids will love slapping that's how those you bugs. Get the, that's how you get the <laughs> bugs out. <laughs> I love it. Um, another cute idea I've seen. I really thought this one was cute, and it, maybe it's because I'm a little bit addicted to cookies, but it was called the Primary Cookie Choir. And what you do is you have pictures of all the ingredients you need for cookies, and there happen to be eight in yes. a lot of recipes for yes. cookies, and eight primary program songs. So there's a song written on the back, back of each of these ingredients, and there's a big mixing bowl and a spoon. And each week you add an ingredient to the cookies and, and you can kind of review the primary program songs that way too. I thought that was really cute. That's adorable. And then of course bake the cookies for and the next have week. have cookies. <laughs> That's awesome. So each of these ideas and many more ideas that you'll find, they are gonna help the primary kids get excited about reviewing these songs that they've been singing all year long. And whatever you do to review the songs, I just think that these things are key to the success in yes. combating the boredom that can come along with singing the songs over and over and over. <laughs> and you just right. being like, louder, I can't understand your words. <laughs> right. So Sing here's with your heart. Yes, yeah. here's, some, here's some things to consider as you're reviewing. Maybe have outsiders come in, have somebody else be a part of primary that will make it kind of new mm -hmm. and fun. Mm -hmm. um, maybe include some kind of costume, some kind of hat right. or some kind That's of right. apron. Um, and also include a variety of ways to sing the song. So, I mean, even with this bug idea, you could say maybe just hum it this time. That's just right. Just hum like That's a bee or buzz like a bee. That's right. Um, and then you could also, like we were talking about a lot of these ideas, just have a common goal or something you're working towards all together right. as a primary, like putting all the ingredients in this bowl to make those cookies. That's right. So whatever you do, have a lot of fun. The kids will feed off of your energy. Mm. And if they can totally. tell that you're sick of the primary, songs and or <laughs> even even this that you're overly focused on making them perfect it will hinder their excitement and their experience that's right that they're gonna have well, I, I remember one time I was focused on them getting a particular part of the song right and one kid in the very back he said can we do something fun and I realized, oh, They're not oh, like oh. <laughs> and I was so grateful at that moment because I was kind of focused. I'm so grateful one of the primary presidencies ran to the primary closet and she got, it, they just, ha she happened to notice it, but got a thermometer, a large one where you can move it. Oh, cute. And she, you know, so, so red was really, really good. And then going back to, you know, normal yellow, I think was not so good. Those kids kept it at red the entire time because awesome. they wanted to sing with their heart. And I'm like, 
thank you for <laughs> helping me. Because at that moment, I was just focused on getting through it. Right. So and then that's so, like, understandable. Because you are. You're like, okay, we got to learn these right, songs. Right, right. Yeah. This part, nobody knows it. And don't forget to utilize your primary presidency. They long to be helpful in any way they possibly can. Yes. Like mine was at that yes. moment. Yes, I love, I love when the primary yeah. presidency helps me out. I need them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for sure. So in the November... Um, 2020 Friend magazine, there was a story about a girl who was the only primary child right after like a family had moved out of the branch. Yes. And the primary found creative ways to help her learn the primary songs and to still have a primary program. And they helped her feel less alone in the process. And these were some of those things that they did. They reached out to other primaries and asked them to record the songs they were learning and singing so that she could sing along with them. So she she felt like she was singing with primary so kids still. Yeah. And then they invited the missionaries to come sing some of the songs in the program with her. And then those missionaries, because they were involved in the primary program, they invited everybody they knew, and they filled up that whole branch meeting oh, for the adorable. primary program. That's Another adorable. cute thing was that the couple missionaries that were serving there, they came each Sunday to sing the songs and help her practice oh, her talk. That is and precious. I, I do. I love that they, they all kind of jumped on board to help this primary girl not feel like she was like so alone oh, in her primary. That is precious. And we each have such different primaries. I mean, I, I remember primary programs where there was not even room for all the primary kids right. up on the stand. Yep. And then some that have been smaller. And you're like, how are we going to fill all mm. this time in sacrament meeting with our few few primary kids? Right. But I love the example in this story of the, of the teaching and serving the one primary girl mm. and helping her experience and helping her with her experience in the primary program to be wonderful and a memorable one. And isn't that just how Jesus did it? He served the one. Yeah, he it's ministers such, to the one. Such a great example. And, and I want to give each of my primary kids that same effort and support in this testimony growing experience that they have in doing a primary program. So when we observe and then ponder on what we think would bless our primary most as we prepare them for their primary program this year, it will be a wonderful experience for them. And I assure you that the congregation will love it too. They'll they be will. blessed by it as well. They will. We'd love to hear how you are planning to review your primary program and any tips and tricks you have for helping program day to run smoothly. We hope you will join with us next episode because we are introducing a beautiful song that would be perfect for your primary program coming up. It is called Pure Love Within. And these children song. will love it as well as all the adults. It's, it's, it's very beautiful. beautiful. It is. And don't forget to click on that link below that has the Come Follow Me program outline. I love at the very... Um, in August, it's one of the last ones that we're going to do before we start reviewing for the primary program. We study Job. Oh. And that we can do all things through Christ is such a wonderful message to help these yes. kids learn. And that is how we wrap up the primary program, yes. learning about our Savior and focusing on the Savior. So, so make sure you look at this outline at least and see if it will work for your primary for, this, for the program this year. And we hope that you'll like and subscribe and share this episode with anyone that it might be useful to. We hope it's useful to you and we hope you feel blessed as you minister through music.